Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the Cricut Mug Press and we are going to be pressing a cup for the first time together. If you'd like to see, keep watching. Alright, so I went and got this at Hobby Lobby. I initially, to be honest, was not going to get the Cricut Mug Press. I've seen a lot of you know back and forth reviews so I wanted to get it and try it out I actually just broke one I had from heat press nation I've had it for a long time I think it was like a $400 mug press and I broke it so I thought about just trying this one out and seeing if I liked it I've actually seen a lot of really good cups done with this so we're gonna go ahead and unbox it and set it up and hopefully do a cup it was taped in more places than I thought so, okay, so let me switch the camera. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. And then up here on the top is going to be your instructions. Now I didn't watch any videos or anything prior on how to set this up. So we're gonna be setting it up together. I really have no idea how to do it. Okay. All right, so it says activate your product. And then it shows you um, just the little buttons and where the heating element is what the different colors of the power button mean. Show you that. All right. So I'm gonna pull it out of the box here. It's covered in plastic wrap. power cord and a USB cord and then on this side of the box where is it I know I saw it so there's a one-time activation required using Windows or Mac computer with USB port and internet connection product will not function until activated all right so let me go to the website really quick and activate this all right so we did not have the screen hooked up where I could screen record setting it up but all you have to do is go to the Cricut um, activation thing that it shows you on this paper and then it will prompt you exactly how to do it all I did was plug in the press and then it asks you to plug it into your computer and then it kind of just shows you steps and everything and it's super easy okay so now what we have done is we have turned on the heat press when the button is green that means that it is ready to go you want to make sure that you're heating it up with this part open because when you push this down it is going to close what I like about this is um, you don't have to set the temperature so it's already got the temperature set for you and then these little lights will show you the progress of when the cup is going to be done so that's really nice all right so I'm going to show you the design I went ahead and printed out a design I got this design from design bundles I'll have this exact one linked below I printed it out and it was the exact size that I needed these are 11 ounce mugs that are going to go inside of this press and I went ahead and printed it out and we're going to wrap it around the cup. This will be my first full wrap mug. I've always just done like one image on the front. I've never done a full wrap on it. But I chose this one, this cute little bee design. And we're going to use heat tape to apply the design. Okay, so I'm going to scoot this over. And just make sure that you're not touching this area because obviously it's really hot. So as you can see, wrapping this around, this is the perfect, sorry, this is the perfect size for this mug. 
so I'm just going to apply a few pieces of heat tape to make sure that the design stays in place and exactly where I want it to be. So I try to get this top piece pushed up as far as I can and lined up with the very top. And the heat press is going to pull it tight. It's going to push it tight against the cup. Which is nice because when you do tumblers, you have to make sure that everything is super, super tight. But mugs are a little bit easier because this clamp will push it together tight enough. My tape job's not very great, but I'm just trying to make sure that it's on there good enough. We'll do one more piece of tape just down here at the bottom. All right. So we're going to put the mug in there just like this. And we're going to push this down. So it made the noise that it is done. I'm going to pull it out. And you can either wait for it to cool down or you can go ahead and just pull the design off. All right, and it didn't even mess up. I was worried that it was going to mess up because I noticed that the design went over farther than the um, heating element went, so it did kind of just do like a fade. So it turned out really well. Oh, I just burnt myself. Alright, here is the finished product guys, and I think that it turned out super cute. The product itself is very easy to use. Um, a lot of the other heat presses sometimes are not as user friendly. I think it gets very confusing when people have to, you know, figure out what temperature is going to be best, what time is going to be best. And I think this one is very just basic, self-explanatory. All you have to do is turn it on. The timer turns off itself. It didn't burn the cup or anything like that. I have had some stuff where the cup burns and it just doesn't look cute. But I think this product worked super great. And I definitely would recommend getting it and trying it out. I know a lot of other heat presses have the different size things that you could, attachments to add onto it to be able to do different sizes. Obviously this one, you're gonna be a little bit limited. Now they're coming out with the attachments for 20 ounce tumblers, which is gonna be good. So um, overall, I think this was a great product. I'm really excited to be able to make mugs and everything with it. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down below.